Så jeg kunne presse dem ind, så satte jeg tryk på, for at vise dem, at jeg skal der rigtig meget. Jeg kan godt høre, der er vand i. In the future energy system, we have to deal with a lot of more ex, uh, surplus wind energy, etc., etc. We have to deal with these energy forms, and one way to deal with it is using more and more heat pumps in the energy system. So, what we did just back here is we made a uh, drilling for heat pumps where we went 100 meters down in the ground. For me, as looking at it from a helicopter perspective, this is fantastic because we are able to absorb all the surplus energy and we're able to, uh, to keep a good pace in the transformation of the energy system. Just think about it. In 2050, no more coal, oil or gas. No more fossil fuels. We have to deal with this and we're dealing with it in the planning system today. You can get cheap heating, you can get it from renewables, you can get cooling into your house. So I mean, it's good for the climate, it's good for the comfort in the house, and it's also good for your account. Well, I think it's unique, of course, because we're the first in Denmark to do it, but also because we've learned a lot from the European project with collaborating with our European partners and collaborating within the regional living lab with local companies, stakeholders who all have an interest in this as a future system and it's ready for market uptake now. At the end of the day, the, the residential housing are going to pay for this. This is also the same as district heating or anything else. But because we're taking it on our shoulders, we are able to cut down prices with 50%. Yes, I'd say that what we're doing here is making a smart grid, smart energy system, uh, residential spatial planning for residential houses, I mean small scale, because first of all, I mean what's smart about it? Energy labeling wise, this is going to be houses built in A++ standard, and then because energy houses are very heavy constructions, they're able to absorb energy and you're able to use the houses more or less as batteries. And this is very interesting for a fluctuating energy system. This is smart grid planning small scale.